Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my nighttime skincare routine. You guys have been asking me like crazy recently what skincare products I have been using, especially since I'm just uh, more conscious and aware of like, you know, toxins and chemicals in products. So I am super excited to share with you guys today what I have been using recently and what I have been loving. So actually all the products I've been using for my nighttime skincare routine are from a new uh, company or a new line called KRE Skincare and they are actually sponsoring this video today but they actually sent me their products um, a few months back before there was any talk of any kind of you know potential collaboration together so I have been using these products for about at least two months now and they actually came at like a perfect time because right when I received these products is pretty much right when I downloaded the Think Dirty app and started realizing that so many of the products um, like household and skincare, makeup, everything, all of these products that I have been using for years actually like were kind of toxic. Um, so it just kind of happened at a really good time. So I was really excited to try them because they are non-toxic and totally safe. So I was super excited to try them. So like I said, I've been using them for the past couple months and I really do absolutely love them. I've been using them religiously at night and I feel like my skin looks so good these days. It is just super glowy and hydrated and that is exactly what I'm going for especially since we are moving into the winter months um, I live on the East Coast so it gets very dry and cold outside so I feel like even though the season has been changing um, my skin has still maintained like that glowy hydrated appearance which I absolutely love so I'm just gonna go through all of the products that I use at night so the very first one is the pre cleanse oil so I will use this um, to start to take off, off all of my makeup. I have done that for years. I like using an oil first just to break up all of the makeup on my face to help me just kind of loosen it up and make it really easy to remove. Um, so I will use that first and just kind of rub it all over my face to break up all of my makeup and then I will just wipe off all of the excess with like a makeup remover. I make my own. I've done a blog post on it um, if you're curious to see how I make them. But even if I don't have makeup on, I will still actually use the pre-cleanse pre oil because it like perfectly goes hand in hand with the cleanser. So apparently this is just like a traditional way to cleanse skin. I didn't know that where you cleanse with an oil and then go in with a cleanser so very interesting so even if I have if I don't have makeup on that day I still like to use the oils first and I just kind of rub them into my uh, into my skin and then I move on to the cleanser so the cleanser is super super gentle which I love but it actually takes off my makeup which I love even more so when I use a makeup wipe I don't remove my or even attempt to remove my mascara because I don't like to rub my eyes like harshly or really at all and this cleanser takes my mascara off with no problem, which I absolutely love because I don't like to rub my eyes a lot. And I also absolutely hate, it's like one of my biggest pet peeves is when I have like leftover mascara or like any kind of eye um, products like in my lower lash line, it drives me nuts. I will literally like take my nail, I'm really gentle about it, but I will take my nail and like scrape it out because I just hate the way that it looks. I don't know, I just like having a clean <laughs> lower lash line. So this totally cleans off all of my makeup um, and especially my mascara, which I love. And it also doesn't like strip my skin. Um, it's super gentle. I absolutely hate that feeling where after you use a cleanser, your face is like really tight and it feels really dry and just stripped. This doesn't do that at all. So um, that's something that I definitely look for in a cleanser. So I'm glad that it doesn't do that. The next thing that I go in with is the Cucumber Toner. It is just a quick little spritz. It's very refreshing and hydrating. And since it's like packed with legitimately real cucumber, it's got some antioxidants, so it helps with inflammation. And it literally smells like cucumber, not like fragrancy cucumber. Like literally it smells like I just like laid slices of cucumber all over my face. And also apparently the toner helps to balance out the pH in your skin because I guess when you go in with a cleanser, which is really basic, um, it can offset the balance, like the normal pH balance of your skin. So toner will help to restore that normal balance. Okay, now moving on to the more moisturizing products. These are my absolute favorite. So the very first one is the peptide serum. So this is like super silky and light and moisturizing. And I will basically just kind of lightly 
dab this all over my face and then very lightly rub it in with my uh, fingers. I will also bring it down onto my neck as well. So basically the whole deal with peptides, there is like a full on description of what peptides do um, on the website. The website is great. They have like awesome descriptions of like why the stuff is in their products and like what it actually does, which I appreciate because I always like knowing how things work and like the science behind it. But anyway, so in a nutshell, peptides basically sing signal your skin to increase collagen and as skin ages through the years your collagen production naturally goes down and the decrease in collagen production is actually what makes your skin age because collagen not only will help hold moisture in your skin so the less collagen you have the less dewy glowy um, you know appearance your skin will have but also collagen can help like it's is structural so the less collagen you have the more your skin will start to thin out and you will no longer have that plump youthful appearance your fine lines will start to show through and maybe even like sag a little bit so peptides are really good to help just stimulate collagen production so if you're you know using it on a regular basis hopefully it will help to um, combat signs of aging the next thing is just the eye cream so I will go ahead and just gently rub this on my eyes and kind of pat it in um, the eye cream is like very almost not liquidy but it's very very silky so it just glides on really nicely so i'm not like tugging at my skin or anything like that so i feel like i have no problem just kind of going in and very lightly rubbing because i'm not pulling my skin so i would just go ahead and rub that all around my eyes pat it in and it is like super duper moisturizing and then the very last product is the tamarind seed moisturizer and this might be my favorite product out of all of them because I absolutely love like a thick, <laughs> rich moisturizer to put on my face before I go to bed. I just like feeling that my, like my skin is just like uber moisturized before I go to sleep because I just don't like that feeling of waking up to like dry, tight skin. I feel like I missed out on an opportunity, like I could have moisturized better overnight. So I love this because it is very thick and very rich. However, it actually soaks in. Like it really, really sinks deeply in my skin and doesn't leave. I don't know if you guys have ever tried like thick nighttime moisturizers and you feel like there's just like a film left on your face. Like I hate that feeling. It's like, oh, it grosses me out. I've actually had to like rinse off moisturizers before because I'm always trying really thick, rich ones and sometimes they just don't soak in properly. So this one totally soaks in and it is like real thick. Like it's very, very moisturizing. Also tamarind seed is also good just to help skin retain moisture. So not only is it, you know, moisturizing your skin as it's physically sitting on there, but it's also just like helping to um, just condition your skin to hold on to moisture more readily. And other than the tamarind seed, it's pretty much just oil. So rosehip and almond and jojoba, all just really good oils for skin that are super, super natural, but also just really good for skin. So those are all of the products I've been using for my nighttime skincare routine recently. You guys have been asking me like crazy, so that is it. That is what I have been using every night. It's a pretty simple <laughs> routine. It does go pretty quickly, and I do feel like my skin is just like so plumped and moisturized, and it just feels really, really good. Like, I mean, washing your makeup off at the end of every day feels so good anyway, but I don't know. I just really, really... I'm enjoying these products and I feel like it's definitely made a difference in like just how glowy and moisturized my skin is, which is what I am always going for. So, you know, can't beat that. So one thing I will say is these products are pricey. Like they are definitely not cheap, but I do have a discount code for you guys. So if you want to get 15% off your first time purchasing any of these products, you can just use um, Becca Bristow is the code, just my name, so you can get 15% off um, using that code. But also, I will say that the like sizes of the products are pretty big. Like they're expensive, but you do get a lot for you know what you pay for. And I've had them, like I said, I've been using them pretty religiously for like two months now, and I feel like I'm only like a fourth of the way through the product. So if that helps you like kind of figure out, you know, longevity of the products, they definitely do last a while because a little bit goes a long way. But that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love watching skincare routine videos. They're like my favorite because I'm just kind of a skincare junkie. And now that I'm trying to switch over to more natural products, not just with skincare, but with like all of my products, it's like kind of overwhelming. It's, it's overwhelming and exciting because it's like this whole new world. I feel like I had a really good grip 
on conventional products but now that I'm like trying to step into this world of like more natural non-toxic products it is just like I have so much to learn but it's very exciting so if you guys have any um, natural non-toxic skincare favorites that you love I would love to um, hear from you guys let me know down in the comments below what you love but yeah that is all I have for today thanks again to KRE for sponsoring this video and collaborating with me make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you never miss any of my upcoming videos and of course you can follow me on my socials so we can hang out on there but thank you so much for hanging out with me today in this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye